Yo yo, I'm Trigil Christ, and hopefully you would know by this point that Medical Bud has been available in the UK since like 2018. Well, I say 2018, but it's kind of been more like 2019, 2020 that it's actually been affordable and available to pretty much everyone with a medical condition that needs it. And it's taken longer than that to actually finally get some decent UK medical. So I figured I would do a tier list of all the UK medical that I've tried over the years and tell you guys which ones I think are the best and which ones are the worst. So um, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so this is the tier list and there's a lot of these that don't actually show on the screen because they go a bit further over this way but I've actually switched things up this time so instead of just having A, B, C, D and F just to make it a bit more clear what I mean by A, B, C and D and all of that um, I've decided to actually label them so this time A is going to be better than your standard flour that you would get from like you know 10 bag matey down the road B would be like you know some standard flour C would be like eh you're not really complaining for the price D is going to be like eh it has potential to be good maybe in the future but it's not really good right now and then F not even if it was free. Like, nah, I, bro, even if that was free, no. So, I guess, let's get straight into this. So, Gorilla Glue by Noidex. I tried this ages ago, and I guess I would... I, I feel like, at the time, I probably would have put it in D, and it has potential, but... Nowadays, I would probably just put it in F, not even if it was free. And I don't think this is actually still available right now. There might be a few on this list that have been discontinued, but I'm still going to rank them in here because I can kind of talk about the brand. And I should also say that I'm only going to be ranking these based on like the actual quality of the flower and not based off, you know, the effects or how it helps me with my medical condition because all of that is subjective, whereas the quality is not subjective. <laughs> this was actually the first good bit of flour that I had on medical and I would actually put this at standard because for what it is, it's a one-to-one, -one, um, so it's not actually, you know, too strong, but at, for what it was, it was really good. I would say it was at some, some standard flour. It wasn't better than standard flour, but, you know, for what it is, it was some standard flour. Oh, damn, we've already got this coming up straight away, the black garlic. So that new Mamedica black garlic, no question, better than standard flour. Like, when I, when I had that at the time, I was literally using that over my normal flour that I had for myself, like, you know, in general. I'm sure you guys see that I have a lot of flour to review all the time. And that was, like, the top of the list at the time. So, 100% black garlic, better than standard flour. The Gorilla Glue by 420 Farmer. I, I put 420 Farmer because I couldn't actually remember who I had it by. I think it was still by 420 Farmer, but I think it had been white-labeled and was rebranded by somebody else. But the Gorilla Glue by 420 Farmer, I would put it in has potential. Like, it, it was all right um i would say you probably would complain for the price to be honest but the genetic was all right and it had potential to be good in the future okay so the frosted lemon angel this is a, a really weird one because obviously not that i would ever combust my medication i've heard a lot of people who have combusted this one and it is awful right but i've tried this one in the vape really really nice in the vape so I would say I'm probably going to put it in, eh, you're not complaining for the price. Like, especially if you were on the vapes, I'm, I'm probably going to put it in, in, eh, you're not complaining for the price. Uh, the French Cookies by Grow Pharma. This one I thought I was going to enjoy. I even did a review of it and thought I really enjoyed it. Um, and I would probably even say, eh, you're not complaining for the price. Like, it also has potential. It's sort of halfway between these, to be honest because it's very batch dependent. If you have a good batch, it could be A, you're not complaining, complaining for the price, and otherwise it might be completely dead. So, uh, I'm gonna put it in the A, eh, you're not complaining for the price, because that might be the best that Grow Farmer managed to get in this whole video. <laughs> Farm gas, 100%. I would say this is better than standard flour. This is better than something you get from like 10 bag meter down the road. 100%, the farm gas, the quality was top notch. Uh, the Skywalker OG, this one has been discontinued as well. This was the Althea. Um, and I would say this was probably about standard flour. Like, obviously at the time I was raving about it because there wasn't anything that was kind of up here. So, um, yeah, I would say it was about standard flour. Right? The orange cake. Okay, I would probably also say that this is going to be better than your standard flour. It's not as good as the black garlic or the farm gas, but it's definitely better than these and it's definitely better than like, you know, if you went to a random matey and was like, yo, can I just, can I grab a tens, mate? Uh, it's going to be better than that. The Della Haze. Nah, not, not even if it was free. That is just awful. <laughs> awful. The Master Kush by Tilray. I had this right at the beginning of my medical journey. Um, 
and I did you know, I would say it has potential. It was one of them ones where like you definitely would be complaining for the price. It was expensive. I think it's cheaper now, but it was super expensive back then, and it had potential. It, it, it was all right. The sorbet again has potential. It's not very good. It was a bit weird when I first tried it because it smells really really bad, and it's not too bad in the flavor but the quality of the actual nugs and the quality of the flour is not nice the shishka berry i would probably put this one in eh you're not complaining for the price i think most people who have the shishka berry don't really complain i've seen it before it's all right it's not the most expensive thing in the world anyway so yeah i probably put you're not complaining for the price the tripoli oh my god this is an advent one and it is so unbelievably bad like <laughs> it's so bad like Nah, like that is not the one. The Tokoshi Sherba. So I haven't actually tried this one, but I've seen so many people who have tried this one. And I'm going to put it in F. And I'm going to explain why I'm going to put it in F because luckily birthday cake is right after it. Because basically this is replacing the birthday cake by Medcan. And the birthday cake was really good. The birthday cake I would probably put at standard flour i'll put it at the front of the standard flour because it is it's you know just about almost better than standard flour it's, it's it's you know it's it's really good and this is awful like everyone i know who's tried this has said that it's awful and i've seen it it doesn't look good and it's not good so i'm gonna put that in in, in the f uh along with the next one actually the cario <sighs> just appalling oh god the moby dick this was one of the first ones i also ever got it was a noidex one this was just like abysmal i think i literally threw this one in the bin like it was that bad so um yeah that 100 percent goes in the, the f as well the la sage by uh, grow <laughs> oh, i don't know what they're doing thinking that anyone is gonna want that but <laughs> the strawberry glue by grow as well i'm gonna put that into the uh the has potential there's another french cookies here i don't think there's supposed to be two french cookies here so let's just disregard that next up though the mac oh yeah that's 100 percent better than standard flour better than most standard mac to be honest so um props where props is due on the mac definitely better than standard flour the gelato by grow now nah, this is a big fat f big fat f not even has potential like that is just awful i remember when grow first came out right and everyone was so hyped on their non-irradiated flowers i was so hyped on their non-irradiated flowers and somebody uh came up to me at an event with some gelato and i was like oh my god i finally get to see it because it looks so good in the photos and i open it wow that looks like gelato oh my god <sighs> that's not gelato what no 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 like and it's not gelato i don't know what they got i don't know who told them that's gelato it's not gelato now that is not gelato doesn't even have potential is some it's some bullshit that is that's some bullshit the powdered donuts i would say this is about standard flour like maybe eh, you're not complaining for the price but probably about standard flour as well yeah it's definitely better than these so i would say yeah standard flour the heruana do I need to explain? I'm actually kind of speechless in trying to figure out how to say my thoughts on the heroin. It's just awful. Like, there was no substance to it whatsoever. There's not even any point where I could be like, it lacks in this because it lacks in everything. Uh, the LA Kush Cake. This is better than standard flour, I would say. Like, that's really, really good. It's a bit dry. It's still that, like, adveny sort of consistency. But the actual nugs themselves look really nice. They actually are really nice. Like, it comes out. The quality is 10 out of 10. And the strain choice genetic is really strong. So, um, yeah. Props where props is due as well. And then last off, the Hellfire OG by Grow Pharma. I would probably put this one in the has potential. I think they've got a real Hellfire OG Fino. Um, like, it's a real cut but i just you know whoever grows that stuff for grow farmer is just abysmal but i want to know what your tier list would be in the comments down below so if you're on uk medical let me know your exact tier list and um hopefully i'll see you guys on a live stream later on today on kick because i live stream there every single night so uh the link will be in the pinned comment see you guys there peace